If Emperor Commodus were to be remembered as one thing, it'd likely be a man of many. A gladiator, a god to his people, and eventually the man behind the collapse of over 80 years of Roman peace. Commodus, the son of the famous Emperor Marcus Aurelius, lived an interesting life, combining 15 years of rule alongside his father with 16 years of chaos. Thrown into the spotlight as Rome's then youngest emperor ever. Commodus had anything but an easy start to his rule over the Roman Empire. Nonetheless, he's managed to leave quite a name for himself, pushing the world of Rome from a kingdom of gold to one of iron and rust. After his birth on August 31, 161 AD, Commodus, who goes by the full name Caesar Marcus Aurelius Commodus Antoninus Augustus, was thrown into the spotlight. He was the legitimate son of Marcus Aurelius. By the time Commodus was six, he had already been made Caesar alongside his younger brother, taking the role on October 12, 166. Within another three years, he was the sole son of Marcus Aurelius, following his twin brother's death in 165 and his younger brother's death in 169. In 176, Commodus became co-ruler, proclaimed by his father to be joint emperor and the official heir to the emperor, joining him in invading German tribes along the Danube River before Aurelius' death in March 180. By 180, Commodus, just 19 years old, had taken over leadership of the entire Roman Empire. Almost immediately, Commodus did things quickly and differently. A great example would be his quick devaluation of the denarius, the official Roman currency, the largest such since the first cut to its value in Nero's reign over the empire. Commodus' reign would be marked by odd decisions like these, decisions that were oftentimes disagreed upon by his close followers and the majority of his people. However, those decisions weren't all negative, in fact, Commodus' rule resulted in a drastic decrease in military excursions and fights when compared to his father's. Still, things quickly went downhill. Commodus was the target of an assassination, won by members of his family at that. In conspiracy with a group of senators displeased by Commodus' political choices, his sister Lucilla attempted to assassinate Commodus. The plan was to kill Commodus as he entered a theater, but unluckily for the group, the assassination failed, and Commodus, at age 21, executed several senators in retaliation. Even more unfortunately for the people, this assassination attempt pushed Commodus down a path of growing viciousness and poor decisions. Four years later, in 186 AD, Commodus executed his chief minister at the request of his army. Commodus grew to favor and listened to the army, choosing to appeal to them over the growing dissatisfaction of his own people. This growing ignorance of what the masses wanted led to much political discourse, pushing many more conspiracies, coups, and attempted assassinations, each of which failed and led to a more dictatorial Commodus. As chaos continued to grow gradually, more and more of his political enemies attempted to rise to power, only to be taken out by Commodus soldiers by execution. As more and more attempts against his life and political office appeared, Commodus gradually fell into a state of perpetual distrust, with the ruler sinking into insanity. Soon, Commodus became fully committed to independent rule. He ignored the Senate, ruling as a figure blessed by godlike power. He set up statues around the empire of him representing Hercules, pushing many steadfast followers into believing that Commodus was blessed by gods, and suited with superhuman strength. Commodus eventually claimed to be the son of Jupiter, insisting on bringing about a new order and era of the Roman Empire. In 192 AD, Commodus declared himself the next Romulus, re-establishing Rome as Colonia Lucia Aenea Commodiana, otherwise known as the Colony of Commodus. Now mad with power, Commodus began fighting in gladiatorial arenas against both gladiators and wild animals. Building off his beliefs about being the son of Jupiter, Commodus started to imagine he was a god, replacing the head of the Colossus of Nero with his own. In November 192 AD, Commodus arranged the Plebeian Games, where he killed hundreds of animals and won daily fights as a gladiator. The next month, on December 30th, he announced his intention to start the year 193 AD as consul and gladiator. Alongside that intention, Commodus created a list of the people he planned to execute once he gained further power. On that list was Commodus' mistress, Marcia Aurelia Sionia Demetrius, alongside prefects Laodice and Eclectus. The trio decided to poison him in a plan to finally end his rule and the gradual destruction of Pax Romana, the nearly 100-year-long period of peace. They sent Commodus' wrestling partner, Narcissus, to kill Commodus while he was bathing, strangling him while in the bath. 
Once the Senate learned of Commodus' assassination, they ruled him a public enemy before re-establishing Rome and the surrounding areas. As a result, all his statues were demolished, his body was buried, and the year of the five emperors began, creating more than a few additional years of trouble and misfortune to come. Today, we recognize him as a man who brought the Pax Romana era to an end because of political envy and dissolution into insanity. Commodus was thrust into the spotlight too early, pushing his beliefs of being a god and having superhuman abilities, which eventually led to his downfall at the hands of his mistress and friends. If you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to this channel. Check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.